Hello friends, as many of you guys know, I create tutorials using Flash and PHP and MySQL that show people how to create membership type websites where people can join your site and once they're a member they can upload things and input data into the various forms in your site. And even if you have just a contact form, you want to be aware of PHP security practices. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you where you can go and research in full all the best practices for PHP and MySQL website security. And I'm going to admit right now that I am in no way, shape, or form a PHP or MySQL security expert, but I have my fair share of dealings with douchebags and knuckleheads that like to think that they that it's okay to just go and try and hack somebody's site just for the hell of it to see if it's secure or not. Those people are foul creatures. They're foul beasts of the earth. So if you ever come up against them, what I do is I ban people who do that. And in my website's terms of use, I state that if you even attempt a security hack, that I'm going to ban you from my whole network. So if anybody is attempting any security hacks into any of my various websites, I'm going to let you know right now, I'm going to ban you from all of the networks. So. I would advise don't try it on developphp.com because I have measures in place that record who the foul creatures are that try these things. And the reason why I'm not a PHP and MySQL security expert is because I'm not a douchebag. I don't go around trying to hack into people's websites or see if those websites are secure. I'm more a creative type person that focuses more on design and yes, I'm I'm into coding pretty hardcore because coding is a big part of design nowadays. So here are four resources for you that I think are the best for learning about PHP and MySQL security. First we have the PHP.net manual security information. Then we have the Yahoo developer security information. Then PHP Freaks has a really good PHP security section. And then finally PHP security.org or phpsec.org has a uh, a nice PDF that you can check out and research all about. Now once you become familiar with all these methods that means you're going to be a hacker or somebody that has the ability to hack other people's websites. Just don't do it okay? Just make your site secure against douchebags. Don't become a douchebag. I've got little kids at my site that try and hack it all day long and some of them do successfully get hacks in and then they show me the holes that I need to close up. So you're going to be dealing with this too if your sites become even halfway popular. You're going to be dealing with people who claim that they are security experts and will try and hack into your site. I recently had a guy who hacked into the site and instead of realizing that the site had holes in it, had a security hole in it, what he did was he just told everybody out in the open, he should have came straight to me in private and said, hey, I found this security hole, you might want to plug up. But what he did was he goes into the, the central chat that's on the homepage and he says, hey, look, I can take over everybody's account. Hey, look, look at how I hacked this site, boasting and bragging about what a scumbag he is. So if you know anybody that is good with PHP hacking and they're a good decent person they're gonna come to you in private and they're not gonna go into your sites forums or into your sites chat and tell everybody how weak the site is because they can hack into it okay that's not a nice person that is somebody who is out to make themselves look cooler they're not out to help you have a more secure site and I'm gonna have all four of these links in the video description area so you can just go and expand under the video and you'll see these four links you can just click on and go and check it out and I kind of feel it's my responsibility since I show how to make a lot of member system type websites that I should show this information as well so good luck and I hope your site does not get hacked by a douchebag